<laughs> Alright, now that we've got our lovely model ready to go, we're going to take it into Mixer. We're just going to enable, to enable us to do some lovely live editing of multiple different texture sets on one, one model that's all masked off. So our colour IDs are basically masked for different textures to go on. So Mixer, I'm going to go New Mix, Spoil Tower. I'm going to make this, uh, yeah, keep this 2040. Okay. So same as before in our setup, we go for Custom Model, Level Building, Spoil Tower, and then Edit Texture Set. We go down to Serial ID and find our exported map here. And I'm going to import this as the albedo as well, just to triple check that it's all going through nicely. So back in our layers here. Oh, okay. So what I need to do here, I need to export FBX, make sure selected objects only is checked. So now just the oil towers is uh, exporting. Simple as, re-import that. So some of these, you might notice, some of these UVs are facing inwards instead of outwards, that's why you get this, but once you get a texture on there, you should be good to work with that. And when you're in Unreal, you can always flip it so it's two-sided, which we've done before, so you know, that's absolutely fine. If you want, you can just turn this off again, if it's getting annoying to work with. So now, when we go local library, you go brick, just as an example, placement, change that to zero, and okay, so, this is why we set out our colour map. You can go right click, ID mask, and just the colour that we use for the tower, bright green. So there you go, you've got this masked off just to the tower. And you know, you can say ID mask, this can be the all of these. And you can always go back and edit these ID masks. And you know, just that workflow is awesome for getting these for getting these material IDs set up um, and getting a nice asset that's got a few different textures going on. Oh. Mm -hmm.